Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do another stitch tutorial. This is for a new stitch that I recently come across and I really, really like it. It is called the Wattle Stitch. I had never heard of it before, but it is a really pretty stitch that gives a very nice, interesting texture. This is just an acrylic blend yarn and I want to have a washcloth that I made with it out of the same stitch that I want to show y'all. The cotton yarn, you can really see it on this cotton yarn. This is a washcloth pattern that will be coming out very shortly on my blog and YouTube channel. Um, Y'all can be sure to check back for that pattern. But today I'm going to show you just how to crochet the waddle stitch. So it is a stitch that you must chain a multiple of three. So any number you take and can divide it by three, um, that stitch count will work to make this stitch. It's really easy. All you need to know is how to do a single crochet, chain, and double crochet stitch and if you know those three things you can do the waddle stitch so we'll get on into it not jump right in okay so i've made a slip knot and placed it on my crochet hook i am just using a worsted weight yarn and a five millimeter or eight hook any yarn with corresponding hook will work and like i said before you have to chain a multiple of three so for just the sample i'm going to chain 15. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start working in the third chain from our hook. So one, two, three. That chain right there, we're going to start working into. And what we're going to do is we're going to work a single crochet, chain one, and double crochet all in that third chain from our hook. So I'm going to insert my hook in that third chain from it. And I'm going to do a single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. And that is basically what the stitch is made up. It's made of a repeat of those three stitches. I'm going to skip two stitches, and then in that next stitch, do the same thing. We'll work a single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. And I'm gonna repeat that all the way across till I reach my last three stitches. So I'm gonna skip two. That next stitch, I'm gonna do a single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. And then I'm gonna skip the next two. And the next one, do the same thing. Single crochet, chain one, double crochet. And now I'm to my last three stitches. You'll skip two, and in that very last stitch, you will work a single crochet. And that will be row one of the waddle stitch. And mine's pretty short, but this is what it'll look like for row one. To do row two, and basically after row two, it's just a row, one row repeat. So row two and on, you will chain one. Turn your work. You're going to skip the single crochet and double crochet and find your chain one space. And you're going to work a single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet in that chain one space. And you're going to repeat that across. Skip that single crochet, skip the double, find the chain one space, work a single, chain one, double. And we're just going to continue to repeat that across. Skip our single and our double crochet, find our chain one space, single crochet, chain one, double. Our last chain one space, we'll do the same. And then we'll finish this row by placing a single crochet in this stitch right here, which is a single crochet from the previous row, like so. And that's what it'll look like after two rows. And then you're just going to repeat row two for as many rows as you like. Chain one, turn, skip your single and double crochet, find that chain one space, single crochet, chain one, double. Find your ch next chain one space, single, chain one, double. And we're going to repeat this all the way across and I'll finish this row and show y'all exactly so y'all understand where to place that last single crochet. The last chain one space, single crochet, chain one, double, and you're going to end the row by placing a single crochet in that a single crochet from the previous row right there. Place your single crochet right there, and that is how you do the waddle stitch. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to click subscribe and check out my YouTube channel for other free stitch tutorials, and also check out my blog for free crochet patterns. Happy crocheting, guys!